Hey guys, this is Danny Pias, Innovation Staff Writer Inverse, and I'm gonna be spending seven days with the Lenovo Smart Display. I'm gonna be replacing my Google Home Hub in my bedroom with it. Got it set up on the desk in my room. Quite the big difference, it's like, this is seven inches, this is 10.1 inches. Way nicer speaker. Definitely feels just more of like a beastly front-facing speaker here. It's literally the size of an iPad, so I'm excited to see what it's got, and I'll report back then. We're gonna try to learn the Samurai Jack board game using this thing. Hey Google, could you look up some videos on YouTube to teach me how to play the Samurai Jack board game? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Oh, it looks like it didn't understand my question, but it gave me a YouTube search. Playing how to play Samurai Jack back to the past on YouTube. Oh, look at that. That's it. We're acquiring acceptance and Oh, look at that. That's right, it's Samurai Jack. Those are a lot of pieces. Okay, I've been going about this for a while, but the Lenovo Smart Display did prove to be an easy way to look up videos without really having to break out your smartphone or your laptop and type or text anything. You just ask the Google Assistant and it prompts a video. Or if it doesn't understand your command, it just transcribes what you said and lets you look it up with a tap. And if you're wondering what that blinking light is, it's the ambient light sensor. And that's so you don't have to manually adjust the brightness of your smart display before you go to bed. So you can shut off the light and boom. All right, I'm gonna try to recreate some Red Lobster cheesy biscuits using the Lenovo smart display. Uh, hey Google, can you help me make Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits. Uh, let's see if the one that I bought ingredients for comes up. That's it. Boom. 12 minutes. Nine ingredients. We got them all right here. All right, so sort of just prompts the desktop page right off the bat, but I think if we do this. Boom. We're gonna do that and turn that on. Oh wait, let's take this out first. Hey Google, next step please. There are nine ingredients. You can ask for the next ingredient and skip to the instructions. Seems like you can't really just say next ingredient. You gotta always say, hey Google, or tap. But you know, my hands would presumably be messy since I'm making biscuits. I know I got all the ingredients. Let's just skip to instructions. Paper, if you are shredding your own cheese, That's do live. that first. Closing parenthesis. We're gonna get this going. I got my bacon shit here. I do have to grate my own cheese. I might have gotten a little bit overboard with the cheese, but I guess it'll be extra cheesy. It's pretty helpful that I could ask it for directions uh, without really having to like tap it since my hands are kind of a mess right now. So I forgot how much milk I needed to use, but you can just ask it. Hey Google, how much milk do I need to use? One cup, 245 grams whole milk. Boom. All right, they're in the oven. Uh, I think I kind of messed up the dough, but hoping for the best right now. Papa bless. All right guys, here's the final product. I kind of messed up these smaller ones. I think I just, they're just kind of mushy on the inside. I didn't leave them uh, long enough or the recipe just said to bake them for a really short time, but I left these longer and a bit more promising. Thank you, Lenovo. I'm gonna try to give my mom a call using the Google Assistant. The only requirement is that the person you're calling needs to have Google Duo on their phone. Here we go. Hey Google, can you call my mom please? I like the way you ask that. Okay, what's your mother's name? It's just under mom. I'm just going to tap that. Would you like me to remember that your mother's name is mom? Uh, yes, please. I got to do it again. Hey, Google. Please call mom. Doesn't seem to be working. I got it working, guys. Let's call my mom. Mama. Oh, me senti. Come, uh, premi la il bottone che, like, the camera button. That's weird. It's not letting me. Uh, so maybe she has to do it on her end. I'm not really sure. I forgot to mention my mom's Italian. But hey, Google, give mom a call. Making a video call to mom. All right, it's video call this time. I mean, it was like this last time. I'm not sure. I know. I'm trying to use this this device that I got for work. <laughs> it's like a smart display. Oh uh, yeah, she's saying that she, 
she's getting a notification that says tap the video chat, but nothing, nothing's working. Jeez. Oh, there you are. Nah. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are, seven days later, Lenovo Smart Display, put this down. This device is perfect for people that already have smart home tech, Google speakers, or potentially smart lights. You can sort of control them all on this one device. It's like a hub for your smart home. When I was trying to bake some biscuits using the Lenovo Smart Display, it was very helpful because it was able to distill recipes into these lists that you go through without really having to type things on your phone or anything like that. But it would be great if you would be able to sort of just say, Next. And for when I video called my mom, it was a little hard to get started. There was a little bit of user error on her part, but it is kind of annoying that you can only video call people that have Google Duo. If you don't have a TV in your room and you want sort of like a desk TV thing where you can make calls, watch videos on like a 10 inch display, you can just beam content over it with your phone, sort of like a Chromecast. That's been this week's installment of Seven Days. I'm Danny Pies, Innovation Staff Writer at Inverse. If you like this video, make sure to click a thumbs up and subscribe and let us know in the comments below what you like us to try out next.